What's up, guys? I'm Christian from Tire South, and this is TSTV. We take you through everything you need to know about tires and wheels. Today, we're going to talk about wheel balancing versus wheel alignments. It's pretty common for customers to come into the shop complaining of a steering wheel or a seat vibration, maybe even a car that veers to one side or the other. However, most people don't realize that these are two separate conditions that require two separate solutions. One is balancing and one is a wheel alignment. Let's break down how each of these processes work. First, let's talk about wheel balancing. Wheel balancing is exactly as it sounds. Tires and wheels are round and when we put them together, they create a complete assembly. The problem is no tire or wheel is perfectly round, which causes an imbalance. Tire balancing measures the differences in the tire assembly in a simulated driving condition, which indicates where to balance out the assembly for the smoothest rotation possible. This balance assembly is what keeps your car riding down the road without an annoying steering wheel shake or maybe a shake in your seat that usually pops up between 55 and 65 miles an hour. We refer to this type of balancing as spin balancing. Another type of balancing is called road force balancing. It's a little more in depth than a regular spin balance, but it seeks out the same outcome, which is the truest, most balanced wheel and tire assembly possible. It is also great at spotting potential defects in tires or wheels, like a bent wheel or an out around tire to ensure that you have the smoothest ride possible. Now that we know what wheel balancing is, let's look into some alignments. Wheel alignment is the measurement and the adjustment of steering and suspension components under your vehicle to ensure that everything is at its proper angle and specification to your vehicle. Essentially, it makes sure that all four wheels are pointed straight ahead and you are sitting at the proper angle in relation to the road. This is important because it keeps your vehicle tracking straight down the road and helps your tires wear evenly. So when do you need an alignment? When do you need a balancing? Is your steering wheel crooked when you're driving straight down the road? Do you have to fight your car to stay in the lane going down the highway or automatically veers off to one side when you get up to speed? Are your tires wearing out quicker than they should? Or are they wearing unevenly? Yes to any of these questions is a good indication that you need to have that alignment checked out. Typically, we recommend you have your alignment checked anytime you're changing out your tires, but at least about once or twice a year in between. Also, if you slam into a pothole, bang into a curb, or maybe you just run over something in the road, you should go get it checked. If you're experiencing kind of a shake, shimmy, or a vibration going down the road, chances are the alignment's not your issue. A good rule of thumb is that a vibration is caused by a rotating part. So a tire, a wheel, a rotor, a bearing, maybe even an axle, basically anything that spins in rotation when your vehicle is driving is where the vibration is coming from. Tire balance is usually a good place to start. Next time you feel that slight vibration around 55 or 60 miles an hour, go get those tires balanced. Steering wheel a little off to one side, go get that alignment checked out. So there you have it, everything that you need to know about alignments and balancing. But if you still have questions, contact us online or at any of our Tire South locations. We'd love to answer your questions and help you customize your ride for your lifestyle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on TSTV.